and away we go. Let's play some Dragon Age. Greetings. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, let's see. Where last we left off. Uh, yesterday I basically just did a bunch of questing to earn power for my Inquisition, now based in a castle called Skyhold. It was kind of a mess when we got there, but now it's starting to look pretty, pretty fly. Um, and we've met the big bad guy, whose name starts with a C. I assume he's the big bad guy. So yeah, I now have some some quests. So I'm, uh, I, I ended off uh, right next to the war room where I can like pick my next mission. Um, I've got over 30 power, which is enough for uh, one very expensive mission that's there to unlock, but it's recommended for a level cap higher than uh, what I'm at. Y'all hear me all right in chat, by the way? Uh, knock twice if, if yes, and knock. 17 times, if no. Um, yes. So let's see. I guess we can check in with uh, Josephine here and talk to her a little bit. I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva, until a scandal traitors. exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for the over gold on her years. dress is like pretty cool looking, actually. Very detailed. Dead or no, you appear to be surviving. That isn't enough. A disaster could wipe us out completely. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. And this is my problem. How exactly... No. Um... Most people worry about their next meal, never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams, my brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? So you're going to torture yourself over your ancestors' mistakes? No, but I'd made such progress. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Who hates the Montiliers enough to do that? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivert, a nobleman in Val Royaux, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. 
that you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. Looks like I don't get to say no to this one. Hm. If I meet this Comte, he better not try to wheedle anything from me. I will take full responsibility if that's the case, Inquisitor. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Okay. So that's like a, uh, I guess that's her special quest. And question if I bumped up the graphics quality. Um, I did not, but um, maybe it's been it's been this way uh, for for a while since I like first sorted out the uh, the graphics features, stuff like that. Um, sometimes the the frame rate kind of tanks when the combat is really crazy, and also in Skyhold here when there's a lot of NPCs. But for the most part, a nice balance of nice high quality. The frame rate's okay. okay. Hopefully, it looks all right on the stream. Okay, so um, oh wait. First of all, we have if it was abandoned to cash when we arrived, in. who named this place Skyhold? Solus says it changed hands so many times the original builders can't be traced. I read the House of Armitage once built a fortress in the vicinity five ages ago, but the records are lost. I don't know that I've spent, like, any gold at all. <laughs> I, I've just found, like, nothing good and, sh and, like, nothing to buy, really. I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird. Uh, I'll serve Barris. Get some demons. Inquisitor up a few of these missions. It's kind of interesting that these missions like resolve in in real time. I have something for you, Commander. The soldiers the Herald rescued from the Falomire arrived an hour ago. Thank the Maker. We need good news. around these. Okay. Never. Inquisitor. So, the one um, I was interested in last time was this, I believe. Stop Venatory activity. This seems directly linked to the what seems to be the main plot now. Uh, so, let's do it. Scout Harding. The hissing wastes. Um Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Who are we gonna take? He was doing pretty well last time. Let's try Cole. And I still dig this guy, whatever. Alright. We'll see what, what this is all about. I think this is another uh, story mission. Different mounts can take different amounts of damage before you are thrown. I have not encountered uh, different types of mounts yet. I just have my old, boring old semi-useful horse. I guess a much faster mount probably be a lot more useful. The horse doesn't seem like that much faster than just running around. Part of the reason I don't use it that much. Um, 
I didn't get the one... The one party member... What's his name? Starts with a D. The fancy pants dude. The magic user. Uh, his name will come to me. Um... We met him. He he may have he may. I I wonder if he would only join if I did the uh, the mages guild, not mages guild, but the the mages quest as opposed to the templar qu uh, quest, which gave me coal. So that may have been a trade off I made without really knowing it. All right. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, your worship. This space has nothing but space. Deep, if there's man. nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. <laughs> I keep awkwardly hitting on Scout Harding. The desert is immeasurably more precious with you in it, Scout Harding. I'm glad that that was <laughs> sarcastic. When did you come up with that one? I had some time along the way. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. The Venatori are excavating them. With the help of their slaves. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Venatori northwest of here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. Okay. Sweet. Um. You got anything? Have you, sir? What is it? See for yourself, sir. Hissing wastes geological survey. Inquisitor. Nothing? Alright. I'm like stuck. What's going on? Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Durr. I'm stuck. I'm moving the controller, honest. Can I unstuck? Nothing to report, sir. Dude, Nothing seriously? To report, sir. Okay, well, switching characters. Yeah, I'm totally frozen. That's a new one. Well. Uh, hey. Invest in the garden space to increase utility while reflecting the Inquisition's needs. Increase the ability to grow herbs. Or create a chantry space to gather resources from the faithful. Yes. All right. Skyhold Garden. Can I like move my character? Nope. She's totally stuck. Okay. Well, Iron Bull, you are now in command. Bunch of rifts. Okay, deal with those, I guess. I thought that that I actually thought going here. Whoa, the full moon is out. I thought going here was going to um, start a new mission, but I guess not. I guess it just unlocked a new area where I can do more quests. But all in due time, I suppose. Death route. Yeah, the environments in this game are pretty cool. Okay, looks like I can. She got unstuck. Um, I guess just through the AI. That was a weird little bug. It's very big. So I gathered. The Venatori don't like it. It's cold. Sand filling and erasing every step. Oh boy, level 16? Dude. I don't think I can hang with that. Um... What the heck is this? Okay. I don't 
think I can hang with that either. So maybe I just shouldn't have come here at all and... I didn't see, like, what level I was supposed to be, if there's an indication for it here. Well, yeah, I, I made a made a terrible mistake, I guess. That sucks. Um... Maybe, uh, maybe like, like, maybe I can do something here. I don't know. We'll find out. It's pretty cool, by the way, that um, that this game uh, won the the Game of the Year award in in the Game Awards. Um, this time last week. Pretty impressive. Um, and and a cool a cool choice. I haven't finished it yet, so, obviously, so... Um, but, but, uh... I think given the other stuff it was up against, it was, yeah, it was a cool choice. I mean, I think this game surprised a lot of people. Um, and, uh, surely that will not be the last big award it it racks up before the year is out so yeah very happy for for bioware that this has been so well received i'm enjoying it myself uh, despite having wasted a bunch of my points and come here i don't yeah i don't think i'm supposed to be here like at all this place is way too hard um well, so what am I... Okay, let's just do this Josephine thing instead. Um, yeah, alright. Sorry. Man, yeah, that was 20... I mean, I guess you end up unlocking all that stuff at some point anyway, so it probably doesn't really matter, but I feel like I wasted those points a little bit. But I still have enough for one of the 8.1s, which are probably more in line with uh, my my current level and stuff like that. Giant. I took down one of these guys last, last time. It was a very Skyrim moment uh, where there was like a dragon fighting a giant, and then the dragon took off, but the giant was already low, so I kill-stole the, the giant. Kill-stealed. Fancy pants music, because we're in Val Royale. Okay. What's this question mark? Well, I was just whining about um, not spending any of my gold. I guess I could actually check out some of these shops. bed. There's probably some amazing shop in here somewhere where it's like I'm, I'm not bothering to go to every single one of those things. Yeah man, I'm not
I just got this new axe last time too from Blessed are they who big barbarian dude. The corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert is invited to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he hears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Surely he will. Lead the way. Go into some mansion. Let's see. The Maker. A poem about the Maker. Pretty long. Pretty long poem. Canticle. And then the Maker sealed the gates of the Golden City. And there he dwelled waiting to see the wonders his children would create. And upload them to Steam Workshop. Something like that. This is the first game I've ever bought on, on Origin. I don't know if that's much of a con confession. Um, Origin is, is seems to have improved a lot since last I checked. Pretty usable. My character must look pretty out of place with that axe. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Count Bauer. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Belroyo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for a life. Dun dun dun. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. That's dedication. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary, by its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orle. Even an assassin's word is his bond. The House of Repose has some nerve sending a killer to greet us. Hardly anyone in the League isn't trained for this, Inquisitor. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. 
It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. It's pretty cool. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in the contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Eileen. Really. May we conclude with my departure? No, man. Not on your life. As you wish. Look at these chuckleheads. All right. Let's go. Ow. Next time, maybe That's how we do it in Kingsport. Wait in the foyer. I shall keep it in mind. Uh, let's discuss this problem in safety in Inquiry at Skyward. Okay. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Why is it? Oh, the lock's been broken off. off. We'll find a saw. Oops. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely. A locksmith, then? As you wish. Can't Cole hack that open or something? What am I supposed to do? Back to Scott, and it's going to take me all the way back. All right. Isn't Skyhold like really far from where we just were? The sense of distance between these locations isn't clear. It's weird that you would have to like travel presumably for like weeks just to have a follow-up meeting about this um, yep but oh well I'm gonna try talking to some more of my NPCs maybe I can unlock more of these like character specific missions at this point that was actually a pretty cool scene I thought the realization that you're talking to the wrong guy I don't like having to go back to Skyhold that much. It's like the load time is long and kind of, I don't know, it's a little sprawling as a location. I guess not really. There's a lot of stuff there and I can see my new garden that I unlocked, something like that. Um, give me one second. I want to try something.
Okay. Thanks. I'll talk to Ver I'll talk to Varric on my way out. I haven't checked in with him in a little bit. Law has asserted itself. Can I do any more judging? No. Those sequences are pretty cool. Judging prisoners and whatnot. Who's this guy? He spent his life in the circle. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. What's done is done. We must deal with this house of repose before they come again. Yes. Yes, of course. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I yeah. assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? Yeah, man. Destroying the, the original way. contract will satisfy the guild. I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the two paraquets will solve this. <laughs> Good First, skeptical we need to look. perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. She's like gonna. She's gonna like wind up fucking murdered. Any news on the House of Repose, huh? visitor? You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royaux if we want to make the Du Paraquets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Du Paraquets as lords. I don't know that it makes sense that I would be handling that personally. I guess it's like a private matter and she hasn't told that many people. Whatever. Let's go back to the war room while we're at it. I think I'm gonna use some more of my points here. Throw an accessory. Weird that the completed missions stay on here forever, seemingly. Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Let us begin. I'm contacted by Fairbanks, says he has information of value to the Inquisition and offers a trade. Freeman of the Dales. Do this one. Let's see what happens. 
Wetlands. New area unlocked. Blighted desert. Let's go now. I don't know. I'm doing... Oh, I was gonna... Well... It's okay, we'll come back. Doing, like, Josephine's dirty work doesn't sound super appealing at the moment. Lord Seeker. And Runecraft. It's like a Nine Inch Nails album cover there. I find, um, I wish this text wasn't all caps, I don't know, I find it weirdly hard to read when it's like in long paragraph form, but it's a dumb complaint, I guess. I like the loading screens otherwise, given that they're loading screens anyway, that you get like three little codex entries or whatever to kind of flip through. A little something to do. Time to advance my relationship with Scout Harding. Yuri Music. Sir, welcome to the Western Approach. We've sighted warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Are you worried about me? Someone has to be. And try not to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a venatory messenger and, uh persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. Okay. There's a quest like right here. That's the intercepted message. White Claw Associates. Okay. Some other thing. I've new, sir. What is it? This could help us. Wildlife study. I can't make anything. Phoenix scales. That sounds rare. Okay. I have a hankering to. Close a fade rift.
There's another one near here, right? Is that the other one? Yeah. Let's just go immediately deal with that. Can I not use my... No, it's just like a gun in combat. What does this guy want? Flashy noises. Worst game ever. This area actually looks a lot like the other deserty area, but oh well. Identify some shards. Spot some shards. trying to do these uh, sweeping motions, but seem to miss them. There we go.
feel like they're... Um, I don't know, I guess I just need to get strong enough to solve some more of these quests, but I feel pretty underleveled for that last area I was in. Gates of Toth. But no. No good. We'll have to find another way. Okay. There's a shark. These things are hard to get to. Like how am I how am I supposed to get to that? Oh, that's how. Energize. Travel back here, go do that one. Let's see, I'm not even sure if I could get through there. Yeah, how am I supposed to get there? Let's go, horsey. Citizens need help. Let me slowly get off my horse and help you. Someone out in the desert is missing a bunch of stuff. Is that a quest? Research supplies. It's up here. Scales. That was actually, yeah, I needed that. I guess I was worth the trip. Hey, hey, look at that. Dudes, spellbinder, gladiator. Good, hop to it.
pretty ominous looking thing there. Oh, I think this is one of those elemental gates you're supposed to gun down. If the Venatori sought something here, it may be worth finding. Yep. Let come! Skywalker in chat says this is my favorite side uh, side area in the game. So hyping it up. Um, I think this may be better than what Solus is using right now. I don't even... that's like slightly better than what he has equipped. I'm just going by the little meters at the bottom. When did I get that? I don't even remember getting that honor guard sword thing. Oh, right. I'm, I'm uh, under-leveled for that. Right, well... Let's see what this place is all about. What is that? Crazy, there's a crazy ghost walking around. Hello, ghost. Oh, that's uh, Cole and Stealth, I guess. It's so hard to see, I couldn't even recognize him. Raider trash. Let's see what this area is all about. Yeah, I haven't, like, been in too many dungeon-y type things in this game so far. M most of the adventuring has been out in the open. I guess the... Search for the mine. Good job, Cole. 
delivery orders. Do not return empty handed. Disable the time magic. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a great idea, actually. Then all these guys would come to life. Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. Slowing time like this would require great power. It may be what drew them here. Solus is kind of a know-it-all. Hall of Silence. Hello. The texts describe a chamber. This must be it. It's a good amount of dudes. Who goes first? Marksman, deal with the archers. This is my new thing. I have my party lead the way. Totally dead. I need to get the hell out of here. I thought this was the exit, and it's not. I managed to get away. I'm lucky. Allow me to take a look. That was tough. very convenient that I got that gave me all my health back but I have no potions
some features on the screen are currently unavailable. So because we're in combat. Critical hit reduces the cooldown times on your abilities. I don't know. Whoops. sure where to go with my with my points now grappling chain kind of seems out of character I do have a couple of these touchful defense it'll cost you return damage charging bull that sounds pretty handy when that's like pretty good when iron bull uses it 200% armor bonus. It's pretty good. Boring though. I don't know. Defensive stuff is just kind of blah. Grappling chain hamstring. Combat roll. So that's actually pretty good. I'm going to work my way for for this thing. You hurt guys more when they're lying down. Deep reserves. Warhorn. More like Snorhorn. Am I right? Um. Man. Okay. Whatever. What do I want to replace? I don't need to replace anything. Okay. Uh, John in chat recommended I upgrade my Warcry. I probably should have. 200% bonus damage, or bonus armor, it sounds like a pretty big deal. For, um, you get way more tanky. Because I'm, I'm actually not, like, functioning properly as a tank. Because uh, I get killed pretty fast. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll use a point on that next time. I just like the more offense-oriented build, I guess. We're missing something here. Great. Afraid of demons. Mm. Not fond of them, no. But you and I are fine as long as you don't do any weird crap. Lying awake, sheets soaked in sweat, afraid to call the Tamasrans, shadows make shapes in the dark. If it gets in my head, how do I cut it out? Itching, shaking, tears slide cold down my cheeks. Tama, I'm scared. Yeah, weird crap like that. Pretty much what I meant. <laughs> Cole sounds like a splicer from Bioshock or something. Just talking crazy. And 
there's the last of these things. I don't know. I don't like the idea of um, fixing this time magic, because then this is going to be a lot of dudes that, in theory, I have to fight. No. Alright. I thought this one was going to be indoors, but I was wrong. Is the Frostbite engine. It's bigger on outdoor spaces. Pretty elaborate door. Yeah. Is this what they were after? Be wary. It may still be bound to the magic used here. I'm sure nothing. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Holy. Wow. <coughs> Ow. Solus, I have a gift for you. Can you not use it? Level 12. It's all free! <laughs> This was kind of what I was afraid of, right? Oh well. I can't even use my, um, that chain ability for some reason. That sucks. Well, I could always, uh, I bet it's like a one-handed thing. I can always do the respec, since I haven't, especially since I haven't spent my gold on it. Hurry, before this gets worse. This isn't worth. Oh, dude. Just got launched. It's 
done. Next time, the damn demons can stay frozen. Yeah, seriously. Should have upgraded my uh, my war cry. Oh well. Nug. like a bunny hmm I think it said something about another uh, operation being available at the, the old war table war room so I could always check back at Skyhold but I'm doing all right here for now. Um, search for the mine. So I didn't actually achieve that. Oh, that's the mine there. Mm. Just I'm just very low. Try it again. Inquisitor. Yes. Nothing to report, sir. Then why? Okay. Here! Must take a long time to record all the all the voiceover in Dragon Age Inquisition. It's like uh, in Mass Effect, you've got your male female versions of Shepard, so they need to like record every per uh, every permutation of the story, you know, with uh, whoa, whoa. with two different actors. But here, I believe there are there are at least four. There's two male, two female voices. Um, I'm not positive if they're like. I assume they don't vary like by race or something. That like the elf voice is different from the human voice. Um, although if it is, that would be pretty impressive too. I guess like Saints Row did some crazy stuff with that too. That's a lot of bodies. That kind of stuff is, I think that kind of stuff is cool. Lots of voice acting is always good. Twelve mosaic pieces. No oh, thanks. What are we fighting? Nothing?
ghoul's beard. It's gross. Search for the mine. I believe I've found it. Oh great, more mines. My favorite. or something. Out of my way, people. Derp. Oh, God. This is really... This is awkward. This is really the, the way I'm supposed to do this. I saw an energized thing up there, but I can't get to it from Oh, and now. Oh. Commander Shield. I think I wanted to leave yet. Might have been a different route. significant threat. How do I get up there? I guess that was the way. OK. 
Okay. Acquired ghoul's beard. D disturbing sentence with no added context. My guys are all fighting someone. Or something. Alright. Blew it up. What exactly am I supposed to do in here? Okay, well, oh, that might have been it, I guess. Let's clear out, clear out the dudes. The light of day. Um. Let's see if I can make it there. I don't even know how to get over this hill, actually. So long, jerks. New Hobbit movie opens pretty soon, I guess. I kind of want to see it. Whoa. I don't know. Uh, oh, great. I just rode all the way back home. That's swell. Um, yeah. I don't love those movies, but I don't. Uh, I don't hate them. I don't feel strongly one way or another. Um, but I, uh, I like them for what they are. I, I've like come to terms with the part where one, you know, relatively short book was split into three big ass movies. Um, like that kind of really big budget fantasy movie making just does not happen often. So even if for the spectacle it's kind of it's kind of worth it, I guess. Yeah, I'm talking about Hobbit. I saw people complaining that, like, uh, like oh, I, I've, I've heard that the Battle of the Five Armies has, like, a 45-minute battle sequence in it or something. Oh, God, Peter Jackson and his indulgence. And it's like, man, have, have we not... Although I agree uh, Peter Jackson has sometimes been guilty of overwrought action sequences... Uh, the worst of which, in my opinion, are in the movie King Kong. Um, I think uh, in the Two Towers, the Helm's Deep, the Helm's Deep battle is like someone at Skyhold will have a solution. The Helm's Deep battle is fantastic, um, and that is, you know goes on for quite a while and takes, uh, I think, gains a lot of its drama because of just how kind of protracted of a battle it is. 
Um, of course, I think the big difference there versus in The Hobbit is like the context and I think the one of the basic problems with The Hobbit, including the source material, uh, quite frankly, is that this like giant uh, adventuring party of dwarves uh, that form, you know, the, the main cast of characters, they're not really built up very much, so you don't really care about them that much. Um, and, uh, you know, you care about Bilbo, but that's kind of it, I think. Maybe to a lesser extent. What's his face? Uh, King, uh, King Thor. Um, Thorin's okay. It's it's just he's he's no he's no Aragorn. That's for sure. And he kind of fills Aragorn's role in the Hobbit movies. Are we going to camp? Ham Bubger says, King Kong played on my three greatest fears, dinosaur things, bugs, and the inability for love to exist in postmodern society. I think that's about as generous of a thing as can be said. I don't know, a lot of people really enjoyed that King Kong remake, but I, I am not one of those people. It didn't hit the right notes for me, I think. Or it was just... I don't know. It was trying a little too hard. And the scene with the bugs, talking about ridiculous action sequences, that that is a ridiculous action sequence when they're like getting attacked by giant bugs and they're like right in the characters' faces and they're using like Tommy guns to shoot them away from each other. They'd be blowing each other they'd be blowing their own heads off. And yes, I find that like more unrealistic than the part where they're being attacked by giant bugs. It's funny how we're, like, eternally willing to suspend disbelief. Giant bugs? No problem. Using guns, using Tommy guns to, like, get rid of them? That's ridiculous. That could never happen. The video game pretty much the same way. I wonder if on uh, Nightmare difficulty or whatever, I bet you have like more rounds to go through. It seems like these are always two rounds, no more, no less. just makes them hit harder and have more hit points, no differences otherwise. That makes sense. I, I, I don't think, um, I don't think many uh, games bother to, like, sort of redesign, uh, redesign encounters. Um, based on difficulty, they usually make some kind of global tuning change that they could just like change a number and call it a day like enemies are 25 percent more powerful okay we have our hard mode um but some some games of course are much more sophisticated about it plus five strength it sounds like that might be a lot i don't know increase ability duration that's not Bad. I can't even use that stupid grappling chain ability that I shouldn't have bought. Or 
am I supposed to? I probably shouldn't be using that. It's too cunning. Can I even tell what rings I have equipped? I guess I can. I have a grappling chain ring that, like, doesn't even do anything. Okay. Question marks all over the place. Capture the keep. Dude, I will do that. Whoa. That's a keep, alright. Oh, my guy's leveled up. Nightmare in some ways just makes the game take longer. It doesn't make it significantly harder or any more interesting. I've heard, um, I totally believe that. I think based on my own playstyle, I would, I would agree with that. Um, and just my experience with hard mode. I don't know, it was, it was more challenging, but it, it mostly just, I'm sure I could have, like, over, oh boy. I'm sure I could have, like, compensated for... The, the sense that I was, like, under-leveled um, by conducting some of the fights more strategically, but this game is, like, not at risk of being too short or whatever, so, um, yeah, I'm, like, well, that's much better. Um, yeah, so I... I think playing playing on normal feels kind of right. Um, everything in this game, in some respects, everything in this game kind of takes a long time. The the area, the environments are pretty big. Um, conversations are pretty involved, and so on. So. Getting into getting into situations where you're like having to repeat the same fight multiple times. Uh, in my case, at least, there there are too many other games I would like to play, uh, and and soon. There's that game, This War of Mine, um, that I would really that I, I need to I need to play that at some point. Uh, that seems like it's been doing really well on Steam. Um, which is awesome because it's an unusual game that you play as like I guess it's based on the siege of Sarajevo and you play as a group of civilians basically trying to survive uh, in the midst of a war um, really unusual ta you know there, there are tons and tons of video games about war but very few that are have that kind of premise um, and I've always wanted I've actually always wanted there to be a game like that, um, so part of me is like jealous of it, um, uh, which probably explains explain a little of my reluctance to play it. It's, uh, but but yeah, I, above all, I I really want to play it. I think. Um, do you think a game based during the post World War One Russian Civil War period could be a good setting for a narrative heavy game? In my opinion, that's rather sparsely used time period for a lot more prominent games. Uh, I mean, sure, like it's not it's not um, what's it called? That that game uh, Valiant Hearts is not post World War One, but during World War One and. Um, 
Actually, it's funny that we got both Valiant Hearts and this War of Mine in the same year. They're, stylistically, they're they're pretty different, but they go after the same thing. Uh, a, a more kind of empathetic view of warfare uh, or of uh, a situation like basically how people live their lives during war. Um, I wonder if yeah, the, and and uh, Papers, Please just came out on iPad, um, which isn't technically a war game, but it kind of has that feel. Um, and Papers, Please is just an amazing game, in my opinion. Uh, I, I, I just love every aspect of that game. Um, I don't know that I'll... It's, I haven't tried the iPad version. Um, if I hadn't played it already, I might spring. I, I'd probably spring for that version just to see what it's like. And the game seems like it would be a real good fit uh, um, on iPad because it's very. It has a very kind of tactile feel to it. Um, oh, I'm on fire. But yeah, the, uh, this war of mine seemed like it kind of. I love I, I love it when a game just like comes out of nowhere on Steam and does really well. And it seems like one of those games like there was not a lot of I I hadn't heard of that game until shortly before it came out. Um, though the trailers and stuff looked looked pretty great. Got him. Shall we knock? Oh yeah. Cute. I'm out of health. Oh. Let's see what we mean by knocking. The door had loot. Sad splinters. Capture the keep. I mean, if there's a ton more fighting in here, I actually can't really hang with it. Um, so I'm already out of supplies and everything. Uh, last night I was talking a bit about the game called uh, uh, the Talos Principle, which which also just came out on on Steam just this week by Crow Team, the makers of Serious Sam. So it's a much more kind of straight faced. Uh, like philosophical sci-fi puzzle game. Um, it's really cool. The puzzles are um, the puzzles are like really smart, and uh, the stuff that's going on in the narrative I'm finding quite quite intriguing. Uh, definitely a game after after my own heart in a lot of ways, although designing puzzles is like really difficult, and I think only certain people's brains are wired for that. Um, yeah, the Talos Principle, it's one of those games that's kind of hard to describe. Although you, you, can, you can describe like the gameplay, but describing just the kind of puzzle solving, first person puzzle solving gameplay, yeah, you could easily use Portal as a shorthand, although it's not really fair, other than to say, you know, it is also a first-person puzzle-solving game like Portal. Um, man, daggers have, like, really high DPS in this game. Is there something better he could use for... I can't use Silent Jenny. Level 13. Crow blade. Or whatever. Quest complete. I think that's a different one.
Yeah, Ubisoft had a cool little, uh, cool little one-two punch from them between Valiant Hearts and Child of Light earlier this year. That's pretty strong. I hope, um, I hope they keep doing, doing that stuff. Um, the smaller games. Because bigger games, I don't know, they don't seem to be getting any easier for Ubisoft to make. And the smaller games sometimes have more, more heart and charm to them and just more everything besides, like, price, I guess. Um, yeah. But I'm not one of those guys who's like... Like, I make smaller games because that's... What, that's what the team I'm on is configured to do. I, I, I've also worked on much bigger games and big teams. <coughs> and... Oh god, I shouldn't be... Looting while getting shot in the face. Um, yeah, I... I love that uh, this is a time for games when, like, there's great smaller down smaller independent stuff, and there's really solid, like, AAA stuff like this, too. I think people who, like, limit themselves to, you know, I only play indie games, or I only play AAA games, are, like, really... They're really missing out. <laughs> But I've always felt that, I mean, I think that's, uh, I've always been like multi-platform, whatever, multi-genre type of game player, and never really understood the opposite mindset. I, I understand it, I just have never uh, bought into it, of like, I only, I only play PC FPSs or whatever. Well, then you never played Halo. Halo is amazing. That sucks. I'm getting out of here. Actually, I'm probably just gonna die. I get um, why people are multi-platform or why people are like single platform from a uh, from like a budget perspective. Some people, uh, obviously, you know, games games are fundamentally kind of a luxury item. Um, they're a lower priority than, <laughs> well, technically they're a lower priority than, say, putting food on your table or whatever. Um, but, you know, if budget stuff notwithstanding, there's no reason to not sort of broaden your horizons when it comes to games, because there's, there's a lot of there's just a lot of good stuff out there if you if you look in the right places. Um, so I kind of got owned there. I could fall back and chip away at it. I'll try that. Inquisitor. It makes it the way she addresses me. It makes it sound like she has useful information when in fact she does not. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, Fobwash says, uh, I do love that a lot of the indie stuff is making its way onto consoles now, especially through Sony platforms. Yeah, um, Sony's been, Sony's been serious, like, about that stuff. I, I remember, um, you know, a tra a Transistor launched on PS4 and PC, and when we first started talking to Sony, I remember feeling almost like, hey, this is kind of, why, why are they so interested in smaller independent games all of a sudden? And, and I had, like, um, the, the, their, the interest was totally genuine from the guys over there. Uh, Adam and Nick and uh, Brian Silva, like, it, the, these guys are all on Twitter.
Twitter and whatnot, and they've all been, like, gunning for this stuff for a really long time, so it wasn't some, um, it wasn't something that they just woke up one day and decided to do it, but it made, uh, it made sense from a business standpoint, too. Like, it wasn't total just philanthropy, right? Because there were fewer AAA games, they, and they needed content. Um, but now, now that the PS4 is, like, really well established, um, and there are a lot of AAA games for it, it's great to see that I think now is the real evidence, or the real proof, as it were, that they mean business when it comes to independent stuff, because they're continuing to push it quite hard, um, even though they have really big games like Destiny and whatever else. Um, and they're just... You know, it, it, it's it's obviously the, the same strategy has worked well for Steam, too. A thing I love about Steam is how... Um, if you check, like, the the top the top selling list on Steam at any given moment, it's like a wonderful, crazy mix of uh, big stuff you've heard about and potentially weird stuff that you haven't heard of until it was one of the best selling games on Steam. Um, so it's great that, again, we live at a time when, like, Here, Inquisitor! I am ready to serve! Oh, be quiet. It's great that we live in a time when niche, so-called niche games can be, like, really successful for what they are. Life is nothing! I'm gonna shut up a bit, because this is a pretty serious fight. Can I do my... Yeah, I can do my mojo. Can I catch enough guys in it? Maybe I'm alright, actually. Dude, that guy just got jibbed. Wait, this is pretty bad. This guy's fast. is pretty strong. He's just wrecking dudes. Chill down on fire. Elf, dwarf, or human. Oh boy, my favorite inventory is full. Um, Mellow Cow, uh, changing the subject slightly, asks, uh, are you watching Capcom Cup today? I'm so excited they're going to demo Street Fighter V and Street Fighter IV Omega Edition beside the main tournament. Thank you for reminding me about that, uh, actually. I had totally forgotten, to be quite honest, but um, I was there uh, at the PlayStation Experience thing where they showed um or they showed street fighter 5 for the first time uh and uh yeah it, in case you don't know this about me i'm i love me some fighting games um and street fighter 5 like the announcement of street fighter 5 is inherently really really uh that's very exciting to me as street fighter uh, I, I've just been into Street Fighter since since I was a little kid, really. Like, I was into Street Fighter 1, much less 2. Um, though Street Fighter 1 isn't that great of a game. 
Um, but it paved the way. Uh, I guess let's wear this. Whatever. Uh, yeah, and they're gonna show Street Fighter, Street Fighter Five gameplay. It looked like, so I was really excited that they announced it. Um, and when I looked, yeah, uh, yeah, I've been playing. Uh, yeah, I like. I went to video arcades and stuff when I was a little kid. Like I always loved arcade games, and and I loved and and Street Fighter, the original when I was a wee lad was one of those games that, that just caught my eye. It was just really cool looking and I tried to figure it out and I got pretty far. I don't think I ever beat uh, Sagat who was the last boss in it but I got up to him and stuff so I played it a good amount um, and then when Street Fighter 2 came out I was I was there on I was there day one um, and basically played it just really ever since and Street Fighter 4, I was like shocked how good that game was. I was pretty skeptical um, that, oh no, I think I screwed this up. Oh, so close. Can I do it? No, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't do it. One line off. Um, yeah. Anyway, Street Fighter, big part of my life. Uh, yeah, my um, I was born in in uh, Moscow, and my I moved to this country when with my parents when I was like two and a half, I guess. Uh, I screwed it up again. Okay, like this. Um, but yeah. I have an older brother by three and a half years who doesn't know, uh, doesn't care about games at all. But I think part of part of the reason, like I got exposed to games while I was really young, because uh, because of my brother, um, and so that's why I was uh, going to arcades and so on. But yeah, man, Street Fighter Five. I thought it. Um, when I first saw what they showed of it, I was uh, I was very excited. Like it, like it looks really cool. Looks better than Street Fighter Four. Looks really true to Street Fighter. Um, so that's all great. Um, and then when I thought about it a little more, I was like, my my enthusiasm got tempered a bit for two reasons. One was that um, it just looked really early. There's no release date, not even a year, or so I, I I think it's gonna be like at least two years or something before before we're playing that game for real. Though maybe maybe I'm wrong. Two years is a long time, but maybe a year and a half. Um, did I hit this landmark already? And then capture the keep. Is that not? So I haven't done that yet. I thought I did that. How does one capture a keep? Um, ah, hoist the flag, of course. And then, then the other thing about Street Fighter V that I'm like, eh, well, it's like I think it's like pretty conservative. Um, like the character, you know, it's it's Ryu and Chun Li. Um, doing doing their same old stuff. Like they didn't show anything particularly new about it. Um, but I think just saying it's Street Fighter and we're not going to screw it up is probably the right message for them to, Inquisitor, to, you're uh, early. We've barely been to set deliver. Up a week. I, have a patrol out at the moment. I have a great deal of faith of and I will be there day one whenever that game comes out. The Venatori have retreated, this has always been, this has been the case with where every Street Fighter. Yet. We're reasonably well entrenched here. But the keep's water supply has been problematic. It's causing delays. I'll prepare the troops for inspection at once. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff here. All right. Report, Captain. 
What's the situation in the Western approach? Oh, Captain, my Captain asks, do you recommend this game, and what do you rate it? What do I rate it? I don't know. I typically would uh, finish a game before I would uh, give a rating to it, and I'm not done with this game. Uh, would I recommend it? Totally. I mean, I've already played it for 20 plus hours and been Carry on, really enjoying Captain. it. So, unless it yes, totally falls off a cliff, um, which I doubt, because I would have heard about that by now. Uh, I, I I get the impression people like this game kind of more and more the more they play it. They, they, They're uh, afraid. They, Good. So. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying it for sure. It's it's a it's a real Bioware game. Complete with inventory management, the funnest thing in in video games. Funnest. We could keep talking about Street Fighter. Yeah, the part where it's uh, PS4 exclusive on console is... Wow, Wyvern shit. I want your full uh, undivided attention. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that it's PS4 exclusive, um, but going to be cross-platform PC, PS4 play. That should ensure that there's like a... I, I, I don't know that Street Fighter has much risk of like being a small community, but it'll ensure a nice big community Inquisitor. around it. Um, okay. I think that's all I wanted to do in this place, so we've... Oh, there's a merchant. That's what I really need. Sell some of this garbage. I didn't see a merchant. That's not someone I can talk to. I guess it's down there. Fighting games, I also appreciate as like a change of pace after kind of a palate cleanser to playing stuff like this. Inquisitor. What's wrong with the water supply? The fort's well is full of garbage. Blasted venatori threw corpses in there. There's an oasis nearby, but a Vargas claimed it. Doing a decent job of keeping us away, too. Soldiers have already fallen to venom and claws. We'll need reinforcements to drive the monster out. What can you tell me about the Darkspawn in the area? The Darkspawn seem to have emerged since we took the keep. I've warned the troops not to engage unless absolutely necessary. We don't need blight ranks. We have to find whatever hole the monsters came from and seal it. We haven't met. How have we? What name, soldier? Where have you served? I beg your pardon, Inquisitor. Knight Captain Rylan at your service. I served with the Templars in Darkhaven until they all ran off to the hills barking at the moon. Commander Cullen offered me a job. And I was glad to do anything to help stop all this madness. Yeah, um, briefly back to Street Fighter uh, regarding them only showing like two really familiar characters. I totally agree. Uh, Mellow Cow in chat points out um, Street Fighter 3 bombed because it had only Ryu at launch. It had Ken also, in fairness. But yeah, they, you know, it was a noble attempt. Um, though I, in my opinion, the result, the, the, the actual, like, characters were not great on the whole. But yeah, Street Fighter 3 attempted to, like, reboot the cast, um, and I think people were left really cold, um, because they're just like, dude, where is Guile? Where is Blanca? Like, where are all these characters that I love? Um, you replace them with these imposters, <laughs> um... And, and one by one, you know, Capcom started bringing back uh, the more familiar Street Fighter cast. So by the time you get to Street Fighter 4 or whatever, it's, it's a lot of familiar faces. Um, and that's, you know... So I get that, yeah. They, 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 they need to show Ryu, and they probably should show some other familiar character instead of, um, yeah, 
but you know, seeing seeing new characters is exciting too. But they've got tons and tons of time, I'm sure, before um, getting ability point when equipped. Dorian only. Oh, I should use those. Um, yeah, they got a lot of time to introduce new characters. Yeah, maybe, yeah, be fun to stream some Street Fighter one day. Though I've never, yeah, I've never played, uh, no, that's not true. N not in a while, though, I haven't played Street Fighter on, on console or anything. Well, I says sorry, on uh, PC. Wow, that, these things are wonderful, huh? I can't tell which of this stuff is like actually important to me. Enhanced yeah. toxic cloud rain. Come should, take a look. Just don't should equip some of that stuff on Solus. Yeah. Does he have magister? Accessories. Sorry, the inventory management is just. Ability duration. Fobwash saying, God, I remember how amazing it was when Street Fighter 2 came out on the SNES. Didn't have the glitches, but being able to play it at home and same character versus same character was mind-blowing. I agree completely. Um, that, that was... Uh, that was truly a, a, a goddamn incredible console game. I was... I don't know that... There, there are very few games... The Inquisitor's coming this way. I was more excited about than the Street Fighter 2. Uh, and it was totally worth it. I mean, that was... It, like... It... It was a damn near perfect translation. Very few... Um, very few rough edges, or kind of very few um, limitations compared to the arcade. Arcades are still alive in Japan, indeed. Indeed they are. They're kind of, I don't know, they're, they're, there's like maybe a bit of a... Uh, I wouldn't go so far as say it's like a resurgence, but like in in San, almost all the arcades in San Francisco have shut down, um, but now they're opening up like bar, bar arcades like bars with classic video games in them. They and they're like I think these things are run by by people with like an appreciation for for video games. So they they've like sort of uh, like curated their selection of games. So I went to a thing like this in L.A. and actually played. Um, Street Fighter, like arcade Street Fighter for the first time in a long time. It was pretty cool. It definitely took me back. It was still, it was still fun to play and everything. Yeah. Uh, arcades are pretty magical, I think. There was a... It's... Although, like, playing with people on the internet and stuff like Twitch streaming and it does it does capture a lot of it but um, but it's definitely not exactly the same the thing the thing about like the best part of arcades was like they kind of like 
I don't know. This is, again, maybe not untrue of other online games these days, but... There, there was a real yeah, etiquette here. there, um, because you were, like, in the same physical space as the person you were playing against, so if you were, like, a horrible, like, troll to that person, like, it, it could be, unless you were, like, the biggest, toughest kid or whatever, which most of us were not, um, it could be actually dangerous at least to where I played games, to, like, be a jerk or, like, you know, basically act wrong at the arcade. So it, um, I, I appreciated it for kind of teaching me some manners. So I can't get through there. Yeah, you didn't really have the same kind of anonymity that you get online. Herlock, I remember those guys from Dragon Age. The first one. Um, I think we've done enough here. Let's go back to, let's go back to base. Um, yeah. A novice believes the sword of the utmost importance. Perform combos. Yeah. What else is coming out next year that I'm... We've talked about Witcher 3. That's, like, probably my de facto most anticipated game right now. But but I'm not, like... I never use the term I can't wait because it's kind of false. I can wait. Um, but I'm excited about The Witcher 3 and hope they take whatever time they need. Um... There's Bloodborne for PS4. Um, I'm. I like the. I like From Software. I've liked them for a long time, and happy that their Souls games are so well received. And Bloodborne basically looks like it's another Souls game, so I'll check that out. Uncharted 4 looked amazing. Um. At the at the PlayStation event, but. Yeah, we'll see how that that turns out. Yeah, Firewatch. Ham Bubgers points out Firewatch is, is a big one. Looks great. The guys working on it have done done some great stuff. Walking Dead Season 1, that was... I thought Walking Dead Season 1, all in all, was just fantastic. Um, man, what an ending. Just a great story, great characters. Um, and, uh, the, the, some of those guys are working on Firewatch now at their own studio. I'm going to check in at the war table thing. I never what? played, uh, Final... on the house of repose, Inquisitor? No. Let's speak later. I guess all my conversations with Josephine are going to be really awkward now because she thinks I'm, like, working on her quest when I kind of don't care right now. I might go do that at some point. Yeah, I never played Final Fantasy XIV, but I heard really good things about the kind of rebooted one. What an amazing story that they essentially, like, cancelled... Final Fantasy XIV and, like, remade it basically from scratch, and then people liked it, finally. Let's just get all the... Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is not good. Give me 
dat influence. Maleficarum. Let's see what we have. I find this map a little hard to decipher sometimes. I feel stupid saying that, but find the warden, okay. Okay, Hawk has revealed that Corypheus can influence the minds of great wardens. If the Dark Spawn brings them under his sway, he'll command a legion of highly skilled warriors. Okay. That's a new story mission. Oh yeah, man. Anticipated games, The Witness. How could I... I I'm actually... surprised I said, um... Witcher, when really I meant The wit the Witness, like... I have, uh... tremendous faith in that game... being good. Um... And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, let's try this party. Braid, uh, Jonathan Blow's, the game Jonathan Blow made before The Witness is, like, is one of the reasons I, like, left working at a big studio like Electronic Arts and ultimately ended up working on smaller, more kind of personal games. The Braid, I thought, was just so, uh, like, everything about it was really inspiring. Um, made by a really small team, uh, really memorable and just kind of specific and personal and all kinds of good stuff. And it just felt really different than what you could get out of uh, really big studios and the kind of game that a really big studio would just not make. Um, so yeah, Braid is uh, for sure and kind of a spiritual influence for me. Uh, is Mugenics confirmed to come out next year? I guess they, I, I haven't seen a release date, but yeah, whatever Team Me does, um, that game, that game looks <laughs> really weird and cool and interesting, which I guess is like what you would hope for from them. Um, the Super Meat Boy was, was fantastic, of course. And I have a Binding... I, I didn't play a ton of Bind, Binding of Isaac, but I, I have a Binding of Isaac Rebirth now um, and really enjoyed what, Good to see what you I played safe, of it so far. Well, we've got trouble ahead. I'm sure it's nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. <laughs> Are things that bad? Cool. Show off that water tech. It's good looking water. Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. He'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. I wish we could get better acquainted, Harding. When the dead aren't rising around us, perhaps? 
The world would crumble to dust before you ran out of ills to fight. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. Please be safe, G. Okay. Uh, I specifically... Let's see. These guys can all level up. Maybe. Oh, she can't use that yet. Alright. Oh, I should really be doing the modify weapon stuff. That's how to improve his. I haven't been doing that at all. Um, yeah, his, his crossbow is like really weak. A wolf dropped this token. It's a lousy ring. I don't even know that she has this ability. Okay. What is this quest? Inquisitor, I have something for you. Oops. I don't have time. Yes. Sir. Just kidding. I do. Dispatch for you. What is it? I do the whirlwind by accident um, because I'm like hit B to back out of something. I just bust out a crazy whirlwind. Everyone gets freaked out. Okay, so where? I guess that's where we're going. Thing where the audio kind of gets cut out. You go, Cole. been told about this rogue warden. Warden Commander Clarell ordered his captain. I can say no more than that. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. Kind of cool armor. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. Farewell. Farewell. Looks like some crazy demon in the background there. Sir, you sure we can't help the village? Undead and demons fighting each other. Than their own. They're true. I hope Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. Ha! 
Trust wood. Undead by the gates. Pretty bad shape. Never seen anyone fight like that before. Thanks for your help, but I fear we haven't seen the end of these creatures. What is the quest marker? So, kid, why human? It was the shape that would help. Huh. Most people don't pick a shape. I guess I was hoping for something deeper with that question. It had to be him, but harmless. The him he wanted that wouldn't hurt. Well, that's deeper, I think. Uh, the exclamation point here on on the map. We used to get merchants of plenty. I can count on one hand the number we've gotten since the trouble started. Oh yeah, I uh question about Soma from Frictional Games. Uh I'm definitely excited for that as well. I really, really liked uh Amnesia. Uh which was which is the last game they made. Amnesia I think is like one of the most successful horror games ever made in the sense of like it's I don't like I like horror games quite a bit, but they don't really scare I don't find them scary. Um general, but Amnesia was pretty scary, because you couldn't fight, among other reasons. Be safe. Um, I, think, I think Amnesia was like a really, has been pretty influential to the horror game genre, um, so yeah. Is there yeah. any way to stop the dead from rising? <laughs> the undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Caves, huh? Dark spawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that fade rift. Drain the... I think that's one of my unlocked... Some uh, other way. You'd have options. to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. Trust me, I fought worse than bandits and the undead. Then... Then I have no choice. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under Old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Until later. Is a good question from from Mellow Cow. Why would people enjoy being genuinely scared? That's not a desirable state to be in. Uh, I I wonder that as well. With um, like I'm not big on horror movies. I like some of them, but I think it's just kind of the, the you know people enjoy the sense of exhilaration, and there's also like just kind of the there is the escapism fantasy aspect of it where it's I bet there's like a high correlation between this is just a random nonsense theory but I I bet people who like roller coasters also like horror movies that there is a positive correlation there I, I find them somewhat similar you're like simulating fear it's not real fear does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake I must find someone to retrieve the remains of I, I don't there. especially like roller coasters either. <laughs> but I have a weird, like... I have, like, I'm a clear. bad uh, physical reaction to... I, I, I hate flying. Um, and, uh, I, like, react physically to it. It's just, like, grabbing at the armrests and stuff. 
based on kind of an irrational fear of it. But yeah, horror games are cool because I'm in control. Resident Evil 4 or whatever. Give me my... Give me my freaking magnum or give me my rifle and I'm good. I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the maker's children. But yeah, fr frictional games, they're... Better than abandonment in a mine. Uh, clearly a, a service will help really talented team and they know... Uh, I think they have a really what did you specific mean and strong vision behind what they do. The they they seem they just come off like they're lake making lake exactly what they want to want to make, which is a great the quality. No one at all. Fear, he thinks that emptying the waters will be even more monsters on us. Until later. Farewell. See ya. Uh, so where's this dam? That's the rift that I'm trying to get to. Claiming keeps is pretty cool. That's like a category of quest. Why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Make her, if something happens. Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. This guy looks like Shrek turned into a man. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. From Shrek. I told you if my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Oh, good day guy. to you. And to you. I said good day. That splinters is a funny item. It's two potions already. Damn archers. This 
is probably a really terrible party composition, actually. It's just triple rogue. Yeah, what was I thinking? missions are like pretty tough actually Not even guardsmen. I hate the shield guys I hate the archers even more Jerk. Yeah, the lava effect, the effects in this game are really cool. They're just like my only, my only knock is that they're like pretty uh, noisy. Like I, my, uh, I wonder if they were like, like I think some of the best effects in games are. Well, it it really the context really matters, but in. Um, when I was working on real-time strategy games at EA, we looked a lot at um, what StarCraft II was doing, even though StarCraft II, you know, wouldn't... It wasn't even out, and it didn't come out for a long time. But still, even in their pre-release stuff, their effects were, like, so tight. They were really compact, because they had to be, because there's so much... Oh... There's just so much stuff going on at once in StarCraft 2, um, and they manage to make their effects look really crisp and, and cool individually, but they still work when there's like a million things all happening at the same time. Um, and in this game it gets a little... can get a little noisy when there's a lot going on. I wonder if I can get there. Oh, did I, uh... Folks saying the stream went down? It's... nothing changed on, on my end. Did you guys see anything? Or here?
me know if you're still there. Didn't expect to have to fight guys there. I guess the stream went down for a second. That sucks. It seems to be back now. I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there with the stream. But. Oh, we got him. Okay. Made it to a camp. The most reassuring music. This party totally sucks. Um, I like coal. This has been working pretty well for me, actually. These guys seem strong. I'll modify Varric's uh, weapon one of these days so he's a little more capable. You guys see and hear me okay? Barrier from the mage is like really powerful. This just gives you an extra layer of hit points. It seems like a total lifesaver. Just in time. This isn't even a drift guy. This is just crappy undead.
that's the that's the story mission. Well, I'm having the thing happen, which is a good it's a good problem in in RPGs where like I keep I wanted to finish that uh, keep mission. But now I'm getting sidetracked, and I closed a rift, and now I want to go help Judith. Whatever else. Go back to the keep, do the Grey Warden quest. This is a nice, uh, I, I'm liking this particular zone. Um, it's had a good density of stuff, and it hasn't been, like, confusing to navigate. It's nice and moody and rainy. Hello, Judith. She has a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. But I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. There's a wyvern causing trouble? It used to hunt in the mountains. Didn't bother anyone but I used to think it. that was pronounced wyvern. <laughs> Lately, the bee's got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gaul's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. If you're Judith... There's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gould, fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. Until later. Be safe. Okay. Kill the cave wyvern. That's maybe not that bad. Oh, you have to start up there. Unless you do that last. No, I think you have to start up here. I like the, the, this. These are probably really. It's probably really horrible to watch someone doing these, but they're, um, they're quite fun. And they're constellations. It's a weird sound, wouldn't you? Sounds like a dot matrix printer or something. First try. Uh, that wasn't my first try, that was my second try. Never mind. Close enough. actually want to go back and do this. Not leave... Not leave it hanging. Oops. Horsey? Cliff, but I have a keep to capture. Yeah. 
prefer not to pay off my horse. My high horse. I'm Melokawa asking what I think of the current state of gaming in general. I mean, yeah, it's it, like... It's easy to get uh, cynical about games, I think, when you when you're around them a lot and social media I think can make can really um, amplify negativity in a which is a separate issue but yeah man it's a it's a great time for games Are you kidding me? it's a great time for people like making games I think um, making games has always been hard I think like I think everyone agrees it's hard they don't agree on much, but on that aspect, they do. Uh, and yet, it's it's never been easier. Um, it's probably a lot easier now than it used to be. Um, and with that relatively low barrier to entry, means uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. And you have people making games uh, with good reason, like kind of purely for the for the art of it in some cases uh, and they can do well for themselves because there's a market you know there's a market out there and when you have these smaller independent games they don't need to sell um, they don't need to sell millions of copies for it to be worth it uh, for the developers and that's great I, I think there's a lot of really interesting stuff out there. I bounce between, like, wildly different kinds of games. Old and new, you know, I'm playing freaking Suikoden for the PlayStation, uh, which is an old game, but, but it's, um, but my playing it is possible because of the current era, because uh, you know, it's a downloadable game for the, for the Vita or whatever, so even even the fact that there are these kind of restoration efforts or attempts to make it so that you can legitimately buy classic games instead of having to pirate them or not file or not be able to find them at all that that's all that's all really great yeah so but i've always been pretty upbeat about the the state of games i've, I've always i'm not optimistic about most things but around games i tend to have an inherent, you know, some natural optimism. There's always bad stuff happening in, in the game industry, too. You know, it's, it's good and bad, but I think the positive outweighs the negative. It's like playing the, the epic music. with the damn archers. I look forward to hoisting my flag over this thing very soon. You frozen, you dead. Oh shh, that guy was Oh, 
always forget about the stupid armor up thing. It's right on top of coal, so I can't really... View. That's pretty the tough. Inquisition. Oh, level 12. Oh well, I got some badass weapon. Wow, it's even better. The last stand. One hit, gain two guard. I could give the other, I can give a uh, handy, hand me down to Iron Bull. I can't use it? He loses a lot of health. I'll let him stick to what he's got. Okay, I think maybe I've learned my lesson from last time, and I will do this. Where was it? Yeah, 200% armor bonus. Boring, but it seems like it's... Waste the flag. Let's keep missions are, are cool. Combat in this game is actually quite fun. Crazy looking hammer I got. forgot about my tea. It's all cold. I guess you get the load time because these, uh, you like totally take over these keeps and they become your towns. Yeah, the the Inquisition uh, banner does kind of look like the Eye of Sauron, doesn't it? Yeah, it's funny that, like, you are the Inquisition, like, yeah, Inquisitions have a kind of a negative connotation as a thing, but you're the good guys, we're the Inquisition, hooray! Cue the Mel Brooks song from History of the World. Cutscene. What? Okay, shortest cutscene of all time. Good. They won't hurt the villagers anymore. Drain the lake. The mayor said the dam controls were through the fort. Inquisition tapestries. Power plus one. Oh my god, I can actually upgrade my healing potion. <laughs> That's it. Not a lot of fanfare there. That took them like... some maximum of mana.
That's a weird looking hammer. I don't know. I guess it's cool. Pretty Warhammer 40,000 there. The mayor said the dam controls were through this gate. I'm not gonna do that yet. Equip potions. I assume I auto equip the improved. Okay, yeah. Jar of bees. Forty-five maximum health is like a lot. He looks ridiculous. Or did I modify the wrong one? done any of this weapon modification stuff. I wanted to, uh... Yeah, some of those things I was getting that were upgrades, I thought were just weapons, and I was wondering why... Um, why they weren't showing up in weapon lists? It's because they're upgrades. My man butcher. What's happening in Crestwood? Roads are nearly deserted. No, my armor's all badass. That's cool that the upgrades are visual. Let's have these cool uh, shoulder things. Mr. Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Balroyo. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have some price if you lose tongues. Speaks from experience. Going. Farewell. Um, where can I change party members? Another time. Damn access. What's this? Big dagger. Let's get it. We have a ton of gold. Nothing to spend it on. up a lot of a lot of power still weapons wow two uniques all right 
really strong. I suppose it drags more info out of her, I guess. Well met, your worship. Well met. When's the spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had secrets for us worth ten times his weight in gold. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. I should be going. Another time. Okay. Fine butcher. Yeah, I like this area. I'm excited about these quests. Um, and that's the main one. Okay, you know what though? I I think I am going to call it a night. A wee bit past uh, my bedtime at this point, as I tend to get up pretty early. So, uh, I shall save, and I shall bid the adieu. Uh, if you care to join me next time, I'll be streaming again. It's always 10.30 p.m. Uh, Saturday night. Yeah, my schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, until I'm finished with this game, and then who knows what else. But yeah, making some good progress here, and uh, having a lot of fun. Nice talking to you all. Thank you for the company, and uh, hope to see you again. Take care.